Hi, it's Mr. Reiske. Welcome back to our Lesson 1 video series. This is the third video in Lesson 1. In the first video, we talked about the skeleton and made the files program skeleton and the file called notes. In the second video, we put some output in our program. And let's move on to uh, the content of this third video. So I'll make a new class and I'll call it Output2 with a capital O, O-U-T, P-U-T-2. It does not matter which of these you choose. You choose any one you want to. It doesn't matter because the code they give us we're not going to use. We just select it all, delete it, and we're on our way with public class, capital O, output to, open a brace up, there's the main line, and now we know we'll be putting some system outs in here, okay, at least uh, that's what this output lesson is about, so capital S on system dot out dot print line, uh, a typical first quiz in this class might be something like display your mailing address to the screen. So if I did system out print line Mr. Reisky, and then I went system dot out dot print line an address like 180 campus drive. And then finally, I'll put the city, state, and zip. So Arcadia CA91007, close my double quotes. And then hit enter and close the main brace. Hit enter and close the class brace. So again, a pair of braces for the main and a pair of braces for the class. Let's see if this compiles. Okay, no errors there. Again, these guys here are all statements. Those three lines are all statements. Statements end with semicolons in Java. Watch your capital S on system. And this is print LN, not one N, but LN. Stands for line. And I've got double quotes around things here. The thing, everything in double quotes turns green. Do you notice that in your computer? So I've got it compiled now. This one's called Output 2, and I'll run it. And there it is, a nice mailing address, as you would put on the front of an envelope if you want to mail me a letter. Okay. Uh, also in this lesson, let's take a look at what happens when we take the LN off of these print lines. Print LN or print line, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, now they become just prints. Well, let's first of all see if this compiles. Does this work? Yes, it does. So let's see what happens when we run the code now. Look what happens. All the output is on a single line and kind of all squished together. There's no space between Mr. Reisky, let alone a line between Mr. Reisky and the 180 campus drive. So it's doing something different. It's not advancing the next output to the next line. If I put a LN just on Mr. Reisky's line there, compile it, and run it, now what happens? Only the Mr. Reisky part is separated from the rest of it. Okay? So after it displays Mr. Reisky, it will go to the next line if you put a LN there. All right? So if I put a LN here, can you predict, predict what's going to happen? It's going to put a new line after Mr. Reisky and then a new line after 18 campus drive and then it'll work like it did before even with the last one being a print okay so now it works just like before because there's nothing after this line if we put something after this line like system dot out dot print line uh, you might say I don't know uh, room a210 
and compile it. Can you predict now what's going to happen? See, it doesn't. There's no LN there on that Arcady, California 9107 line. It doesn't advance the next line. Okay. The book calls this printing sideways. All right. So that's the difference in print versus print line. You need to practice this to understand this, really. You'll make mistakes until you practice it. Like everything else in the course, this is not a course where you can cram for a quiz. You gotta actually practice in Java with your hands uh, on the keyboard.